If you want to get five or more points on your TOKSA, you need to evaluate your main knowledge claims. Today, on TOK Today, we're going to look at four main evaluation points that can arise from virtually all knowledge in the natural sciences. Welcome to TOK Today, I'm Daniel, and today we're going to explore four essential evaluation points for scientific knowledge. That's knowledge coming from AOK -OK Natural Sciences. And this will help to deepen your understanding and help you to write the evaluation points for the natural sciences that you need to get a good score on your TOK essay. First up, I'm assuming that everyone knows that evaluation points means to critically assess the strengths and limitations of the natural sciences. Well, let's get started. The importance of falsification. First up, let's talk about the importance of falsification. This concept, proposed by philosopher Karl Popper, is foundational in the scientific method. Falsification means that for a hypothesis to be scientifically valid, it must be testable and capable of being proven wrong. This might sound straightforward, but it's actually quite challenging. Instead of seeking to confirm their hypotheses, scientists aim to disprove them through rigorous testing, and this helps prevent confirmation bias and ensures a more robust understanding of the natural world. However, not all hypotheses are easy to falsify due to technological or methodological limitations, making an ongoing challenge in scientific inquiry. Evaluation point number two, the challenges of demonstrating causation. Now, let's tackle the challenges of demonstrating causation. In the natural sciences, establishing a causal relationship is notoriously difficult, especially in environments with multiple interacting variables. To demonstrate causation, scientists need to isolate variables and ensure that any observed effects are due to the variables of interest and not other confounding factors or variables. This often involves controlled experiments and advanced statistical methods. Despite these efforts, achieving absolute certainty is rare, highlighting the tentative nature of scientific conclusions. Evaluation point number three, validity versus reliability. Now, let's discuss the issues of validity versus reliability. Validity refers to the accuracy of a measurement, essentially whether a test measures what it's supposed to measure. Reliability, on the other hand, refers to the consistency of results when an experiment is repeated under the same conditions. A study can be reliable without being valid if it consistently produces the same results that don't accurately reflect the phenomenon being studied. Conversely, a valid study that isn't reliable may provide accurate results only sporadically. The scientific method strives for both, but achieving the balance is complex and demanding. Evaluation point number four, ecological validity. Finally, let's explore ecological validity. This concerns how the findings of a study can be generalized to real-world settings. While laboratory experiments offer control over variables, they often lack ecological validity because the conditions are artificial and may not represent natural environments. This raises important questions about how applicable scientific findings are to realistic situations. Scientists must balance experimental control with ecological validity, considering both in their experimental design. So in conclusion, evaluating natural scientific knowledge requires a nuanced understanding of, the, of these key points. The importance of falsification, the challenges of demonstrating causation, the balance between validity and reliability, and the significance of ecological validity. Now, by focusing on these aspects, you can develop better evaluation points on the complexities and strengths of the natural sciences in your TOK essay. If you found this video useful, then a like or a subscribe or a comment are very much appreciated. Go on, hit like. Next up, we'll be looking at evaluation points for the human sciences. I hope to see you on that video. Stay toptastic, my friends.